Hello and what's up Madlang people um, Today I'll be discussing to you guys what you need to know before buying a short scale electric guitar So um, this one, this is J&D ST Mini I chose this guitar uh, because first and foremost it's got humbucker and a single coil neck There are short scale guitar which is like a, a proper strat copy which is three single coil so SSS configuration and that's not a problem really uh, it's a matter of preference I just love the humbucker and single coil configuration right so I chose this when I was selecting for a short scale guitar and also most of the short scale guitar are hardtail meaning they don't have the tremolo bar I chose this again because I wanted the short scale guitar to have the tremolo bar. Right. Um, now, having said that, maybe you got your own reason why you're buying a short scale guitar. Probably you're buying it for your kid, for your child. And um, it's really, really good to buy a short scale guitar for your child as a beginner, as a learner because it helped uh, with the stretching I remember when I was learning to play the guitar I am using an acoustic guitar and it's a full scale guitar I had to keep stretching my fingers just for let, let's say learning the C chord um, so with this one it's gonna be easy for them and as well that it's an electric uh, the tension of the strings here is lighter it's closer to the fretboard as well so yeah there's loads of plus factors right having said that let's go to the the bad side of buying a short scale guitar right to me personally um it helped with my stretching like it's easy now for me to do that and even playing tears in the rain by by Joe Satriani uh, it's quite a stretch for a full-scale guitar but with this three-quarter it's easy for me so yeah I love it on, on that uh, note but the trouble is because it's cheap and it's short scale the trouble that you will encounter with this guitar is the tuning stability uh, most of the reviews they're saying to buy a higher gauge string so what i did when i ordered this one i also bought a new set of strings but it's the diadario step up strings which is 9.5 that didn't make a difference so i changed the tuners it's because when i'm tuning it keeps jumping and i thought probably it's the tuner as well that's why it keeps out of tune this is my locking tuners, Vanson. It's got a higher ratio. So when I tune, you can sort of fine tune it with just a little um, um, adjustment. Uh, you can really fine tune your tunings. So um, still with that um, 9.5, because I just uh, remove and put it back, um, it didn't help. Uh, it's still going out of tune so changing the tuners didn't help I even changed the bridge uh, the entire bridge and this one is got a stainless steel uh, bridge saddle uh, because of the uh, sustain so I thought that will help because it's a stainless steel bridge saddle it did a little bit but it's got to do with the length of the guitar when you're playing here the, the string is short, so it doesn't vibrate much, so it doesn't have that sustain, see? But here, because it's still got that uh, length, it's got that vibration, so it can vibrate well, and you got that sustain, so not up here. So it's not going to be a good guitar for you if you want this as your main guitar. This can be your travel guitar where you can just practice and easy to carry to bring along but not as your main guitar if you're a gigging uh, musician. So now having 
this one changed and the tuners I said probably it's the pickup because it's breaking when I'm doing lead on this bit so apart from the sustain it breaks so I changed it and guess what it's still the same there and not so much in here but on the lower string it's it's not the way i wanted it so yeah i think it's got to do with the pickup it's got to do with the length so i changed the pickup but it's still the same because this is from my lion by washburn the pickups and it's quite a decent pickup it's not the high-end pickup but it, it still didn't work so yeah right the last thing that i i did was i changed the strings to a higher gauge now this time is gauge 10 by ernie ball regular slinky uh, 10 to 46 and it did uh, help with the tuning stability but still on this end as i said because this one is short and i don't know for some reason uh, with the pickup or something it, it doesn't sound right here when you're bending and when you're using uh high gain uh, effects so uh that's that's what i've experienced with this guitar and if you ask me if it's worth it buying uh, this guitar changing the tuners changing the bridge changing the pickups um, I, I don't think it's it's worth buying a short scale guitar if you're just go gonna alter everything but it's really comfortable for my hand uh, uh, I can play fast on this one um, because the frets are close to each other the size of the neck is smaller so yeah on that note it's it's good but only playing up to the 12 fret past the 12 fret it's still a struggle here because with a uh, full-grown person the frets here are a lot closer so slimmer narrower so it's a struggle and then this bit here look your hand is up to this area only it's like uh, what number is this 20 yeah once you're trying to attempt to 22 and 21 your hand is getting stuck here and then this area as well so look there's like a challenge there so if you're buying a short scale guitar i think the ibanez got a better heel for the the guitar so try that one i haven't tried it uh, i'm trying to recommend it for that reason only but uh, I, i'm not sure yet how that uh, uh, the Ibanez uh, short scale guitar will perform probably you're still gonna use gauge 10 or higher like gauge 11 because of the tension you tend to over bend and then the, the tuning stability that's the major factor when you, this one originally is on nines and then I use the step up which is 9.5 still it didn't help so uh, I hope uh, it, it clarifies guys for those who are interested to to buy a short scale guitar there's another one that I'm planning uh, but this is gonna be in the future I don't have spare money to keep buying gear uh, my other half gets uh, really a bit um, annoyed uh, when I'm purchasing stuff but the other guitar that I'm looking at is the uh, music music man sterling uh cutlass which is hs as well the same as this one it's quite expensive than this guitar this is only uh 75 uh, when i bought it 75 pounds that one is 297 i think the cheapest and the regular price is 300 let's say 325 around that figure 325 pounds so it's quite the difference in terms of the price but the scale length uh, it is considered as short scale 
this one is 22.2 probably 22 something i think i measured it on my unboxing and i mentioned the the scale length and that one is about 24 so it's not as small or short like this the heel here is quite okay as well it's round uh so you can have a better access i don't know how many frets is the cutlass if it's 24 or 22 and because it's from music man uh i think the quality this one compared to that one is a lot better uh, that the price range already says it that one is about 325 the cheapest that you can buy is 297 i think and this one is only 75 pounds so you can already tell that between the price uh, difference that one is a lot better um yeah so that's another one that i'm gonna be looking at but this one uh, is like uh, the squire uh, strat mini the stag strat mini this is uh, almost identical to those guitar and the ibanez uh, micro the geo micro uh, electric guitar um, i haven't tried those uh, um, short scale guitars but i'm just uh, saying ab about the size scale length it will probably almost the same i hope this video will help you to decide whether the short scale guitar is for you and if it's worth buying uh, a short scale guitar and thank you for watching guys and see you again soon Bye.